Welcome to Fun Uber Games, a channel where you can win money every Tuesday and Friday. So I have this new idea. I'm going to actually trade in my E-Trade account. It's my money. I take all the risk and, of course, all the gain. And then I'm going to give you an, a view of what's going on. Rather than just talking about buying stock, I'm going to actually buy it so you can see how it's done. And maybe you can uh, leave comments and give me some ideas of stocks to buy. Maybe I'll buy some. So this is the... I, I logged into E-Trade, and this is the main screen. So I have different accounts, but I'm, I pretty much have everything in the Fun Uber Games account, $100,000. So I'm going to click inside the account, and it's, it's all cash. So th there's different ways to buy stock. I'm going to go up here in, in Symbol, and you could just type in... I'm going to by Apple. You could type in Apple and you could see A A A P L is what we call the ticker. So I usually search by ticker just because I know it. It's the same thing. So I'm searching the ticker or or you can search just Apple and it'll bring me up to Apple's uh, page where I can buy or sell or do research. So let's just do real simple a, a quick buy of stock so you can see how you do it and it's easy you don't have to even know anything but we're going to do a little research but you can you can look they have all these charts and analysis and ratings but right on the top it's buy sell we don't own any stock so we can't sell so go to buy and then it takes me to this stock order screen where I can put in my order and there's and here's a symbol uh, that's a ticker symbol and everybody knows what a ticker symbol is everybody meaning any type of broker or a finance company they, they would know what the ticker means and then underneath the ticker it says order type you could always click the question mark and it'll give you information what it is now if you open an E-Trade account, you might have just buy, sell, meaning buy stock, sell stock. You probably won't have sell short or buy to cover. And we will talk about that one day, but I'm keeping it super basic, just buying stock today, just to show you the process and some real basic um, information on stock. So I'm going to buy, and uh, it's $143 a share. So if I put in... 100 shares that's that's about what is it it's uh, 1430 $14,300 did I do it right 40, yeah $14,300 so, so let me do a lower amount Let me do 25 shares. This is just kind of a test to show you how to do it, but I'm, I'm going to actually buy it. And then you could select market, market to close, limit, stop on quote. There's a lot of stuff. Just, just worry about the market and the limit because that's really what you're going to use. And I use the market a lot. <clears throat> and that means it's going to sell at the market price. It, so it's gonna it you have, it's gonna automatically sell once I process this trade at market it will sell within a split second and you could choose good for day with the market order because if it if it didn't sell today it, then it it wouldn't it would it would cancel the trade but that does does doesn't happen with a publicly traded stock it, it's always there's always somebody buying or selling. And market, you can look at the bid ask over here. So the bid is what people are bidding. They they, they want to buy. So think of it as what they people want to buy Apple at one hundred and forty-three dollars and sixty-one cents. And ask is what people were asking to sell it at. They want it, they're asking that's the price they want to receive. So they want to receive one forty-three sixty-two. So the ask should always be higher than the bid 
because obviously if you're selling it you want more and if you're buying it for the bid you you'd want to pay less and and the market the last market price is 143.62 so it's a tight range it's only one cent between the bid and the ask if if this was a larger gap like five ten cents then you would want to maybe not do a market order but let's just do a market order for now and then i'll do the limit next so it's good for the day and here's the commission six dollars and 95 cents so that's the let me just see if i did one trade okay it's 6.95 that's a flat trading price and i'm not sure if everybody gets that trading price if if you open a new account it might be higher I'm not positive because you have no trading activity, but maybe I did a lot of trades and it's lower. I thought it was $9.95, but apparently it's $6.95, for me at least. So I'm going to preview this, and then it's going to just give me the information, and then I just have to, I could cancel the order, I could change the order if I mistype something. So it looks good. It's going to place it at the market price. So within the, the time I was explaining that, the price of the stock could have went up or down. So it might not execute at this price, 143.58. It'd probably be pretty close. But it is possible it does move. So if I place the order, your order has been placed. And then you could look and go back to your accounts tab. And you can go into your portfolio, and you can see it, it's in my account. So it, it, it executes within a split second, because there's always somebody on the other side that's looking to sell. There's like millions and millions of shares being sold of almost every stock, hundreds of millions of some stock. So as you can see in my account, I have 25 shares. And I paid 143.59. And look, I'm, I've lost $6.87. That's just the fee, pretty much, I paid. And there's a slight timing difference. Because I think the fee was $6.99. So I actually made 12 cents back. It's probably a rounding thing. So my market value is $35.89. And now, the other type of buy... So I could type in the AAPL up here, or I can just click Apple here. And I'm going to buy a limit order. So same thing, 25 shares. I'm going to buy. I could sell if I want, but I'm not going to. I'm going to buy, and I'm going to do a limit order. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions about anything. We could discuss further. I don't want to get into too much detail, at least on the first video. So limit order. I could put anything I want. The limit, which means that's the price I want to sell at. I could put a dollar as a limit order. And I want it, I, that's saying sell me Apple stock, 25 shares of Apple stock at $1 each. It would never happen. No one would ever sell it, but I could put a dollar. But maybe I want to put $143, which is less. So if the stock goes up today, it's not going to execute. No one's going to sell at 143 But if the stock dips today, somebody will sell it at 143 Even if it goes down to $100, someone will sell it at 143 And with the limit, you can choose... If it's good for the day, meaning if it doesn't, the trade doesn't happen today, then it cancels out. You, good for 60 days, which means that you have 60 days to uh, to execute the trade, and if it doesn't, then it cancels. And then other options. I usually do good for day. Sometimes I do good for 60 days, but sometimes if you don't do good for day, you do good for 60 days, you forget, and and a trade. In a month from now, a trade goes through that you forgot you put on. 
Uh, so you got to keep track of your trades. So I'm going to put it at 143. I'm going to preview. And it's not going to, nothing's going to happen. No one's going to sell it to me at 143. Even, even though it's 71 cents, even if I put it at 143.50, no one would sell it to me. But I'll place the buy at 143. And now if I go into my account, the last trade was 143.70. So I only have my 25 shares. So I could go into uh, transaction history. So I have a lot of stuff in there, but that says 25 of Apple at 143.587. That's what I purchased. But if I go to all trades, Okay, I haven't used this in a while, so I, I can't, I forgot where the open trades section is. I thought it was under all trades. But e either way, okay, oh, here it is, orders. So that was transaction history. That's only completed transactions and orders. So you can see I have 25 Apple limit 143 see the bid ask is about the same 14370 so it's it's not going to execute until it hits 143 and this could be good to do stuff like this if you think the stock will go down and you don't have to pay as much but what if the stock goes up a lot and you could have bought it went before it went up a lot it, you, you don't know And please leave comments. Let me know if you have any suggestions or, or stocks. So I'm just going to buy these two stocks today just to give you an idea. But you could also, with any trade or any brokerage account, you can get a lot of information. So this is the, the first tab is a snapshot of Apple. And it shows you today's open and the previous close. And they're different. Leave in the comments if you know why they're different. If yesterday's close is different from today's open, there's a reason why. Um, I don't want to go into too much detail. I could explain it, but it's pretty simple. But, but leave in the comments why it's different. And then uh, the 52-week range, it's all interesting information and, and can be helpful. This is the past 52 weeks. It was as low as $89, as, as high as $144. So it's almost at its peak because the market is kind of at its highest point, almost at its highest point in history. The average volume, 27 million shares uh, moved around within 10 days. The PE price earnings, this is all interesting stuff and I'm gonna go into this more deeper. Um, in other videos and leave comments and we could talk in comments or I can make special videos on the side about anything like this. Mar market cap is, is something that I think you should know. It's just, it's simply shares outstanding, which means Apple has 5.2 billion shares. I own 25 of those 5.2 billion, but it has 5.2 billion shares out there. And some people may own 25 like me. Some people may own 100 million shares, like probably the president of Apple or, or the other offices of Apple may own millions of shares of Apple. But there's 5.2 billion shares outstanding. And the, mar and, the, and the last price, that's what it's trading at, 143.74. 
So the shares times the price equals your market cap. So according to the stock market, this is this is how much Apple's worth. And I think it's the most um, highest valued company in the world. I'm pretty sure. Exxon used to be, and I think Apple is now. Um, so anyways, that's what the market is saying it's worth, $755 billion. Now it's our job as investors to figure out is it worth $755 billion? Because if, if we feel it is worth, it's worth more than $755 billion, we buy the stock. If we feel it's worth less than $755 billion, we sell the stock. That's a really hard thing to figure out, and that's very complex, and that could take years to understand how to do that. And I'll try to delve into those things in future videos. But even some of the best traders on Wall Street have a hard time valuing companies to figure out if they should buy or sell. Beta, and you can always click, click the question mark. Um, I don't want to go into like these kind of things. Dividend yield, some companies pay a dividend, they do, so this is their yield. So if you own $100 of Apple, you get $1.58 in dividends each year. And a, quarter, and a quarterly dividend, they're paying 57 cents a share. Because 57 times 4, because it's 4 quarters, doesn't equal $1.58. And I know why. Do you, can you tell me in the comments why it doesn't equal $1.58? Um, Ex-dividend, dividend payable date, I'm not going to get into that. And you could look at charts for historical data. We don't have to look at any of this stuff. We could have just, we bought it. But it's good to look at it. You could look at history in the past so many months, the, how uh, the stock has performed. You could look at it on a 10-year basis. You could see it was really low, as low as like 19, 20. And probably at one point it was a penny stock, like most things. It was, it was change, 10, 20 cents. And now... I know I bought Apple in 2010 for my wife. So she, she's tripled her money. I think we put 10000 now it's 30000 But that's the trick, to, to f find out what is valuable and, and to not sell it. A lot of people sell. Like you see when the market, when it was here, at 130 uh, at 100 and then it dipped, everybody sells. That's what you do. You do the opposite of what the market does. If people are selling, you buy. If people are buying, you sell. Always do the opposite. You'll you'll win in the long run. And here's news. So if you and news is important, follow the news as well. And and this gives you um, within E Trade. There's information, and it's talking about what's going on. It might be talking about the stock. It might be talking about if there's a new iPhone that came out. And there's a lot of things. We'll do options, um, trading as well. And obviously today I bought the stock twice. I wouldn't do that normally. I'd, I paid a fee t twice. Well, one, one didn't execute, but if it does, I'm paying a fee twice. So some things I'm doing here to, as educational, not so some of the things I do here aren't going to be exactly how I would do it. But I'm not going to lose thousands of dollars. I could handle a $7 commission if, if they both go through. And then there's analyst research, like what the professionals say, insider activity. There's a lot of things. What the This is what the executives, they own of stock. And, and the idea is if, if, if the executives, the people who work, or the higher ups at Apple, if they're buying, if they're starting to buy a lot of Apple, that's a sign of maybe we should be buying Apple. And if they're selling Apple, maybe we should sell Apple. But that gets into more deeper things. So th th this is the first video. And just let me know what you think. And, and I'll be doing more videos. 
and then tomorrow we can see if that trade executed and you don't have to wait you can just follow it follow apple and if apple hits 143 that trade will execute when i say execute it means will go through will happen so please like comment subscribe and uh see you guys soon